Hey YouTube, this is going to be an unboxing for the Z900 Z Cup or Z Cup belly pan from M Designs. So, I ordered the uh, flat black one. I'm trying to do all this video, just looking through this. A few finder here so I don't miss anything. Right. So, this should be a racing style belly pan. I did not get any of the graphics for it yet because I really don't know uh, what kind of graphics I want to put on it yet. And, you know, that's something I can always do later. Alright, let's see what we got here. Extra packing. Another box. Alright, open this box up. So it should be flat black to match. Existing Z900 paint job. I have the black and red one. So, let's see. Alright, hold on a second. Let's get this out of here. Alright. Okay, here we go. Belly pan. Itself. Shielding. So this one, um, I'm for the 2020. Oh, nice. Look at that stuff. The 2020 version, uh, it'll it's supposed to be able to uh, work on all exhausts, stock and race, except for like they named one brand that it wouldn't work with. So that's pretty sweet. I like that carbon vice on the bottom. And now it's got a big white thing on the bottom already. I guess that kind of picks my color for the, for the rest of the graphics. So, yeah, that's good. Let's see what else we got in here. So, we got some uh, mounting instructions here. Right here. Hardware there for the mounting and some instructions. Let's see how crazy this is, real quick. So that's what's in it. I guess that's basically the instructions right there. How to hook up the mounting brackets. So I guess I'll make a video after this on a actually installing it. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I really like it. Uh, match my paint job just fine. All right, thanks YouTube. Hey YouTube, this is the uh, 2021 Z900 I'm gonna be working on. I decided to do this uh, belly pan install in a few chunks here and just try and strip them together. But uh, so far, what I've looked at is uh, the screws that I need to work on. Uh, on the left side, there's one right here. There's one right here. And then there's two bolts. Let's see if I can show them to you. Underneath here. Uh, I don't know if you can see those or not. But so there's four on the left side. And on the right side, to remove these fairings and replace them. There's one here. And the tools you're gonna need to do this you got a number four X number 10 socket and a number six I think yeah number six X so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, pull off the existing stuff and then I'll make another video attaching the brackets for the belly pan. Thanks. 
All right, YouTube, I have removed the existing fairings. I'll show you basically how they come off. This is the left side uh, going from, this is the, be the rear of the bike, this would be the front. This is the little piece here in the back. It's just one screw. And it's got a little clip there on it. You can see it slides into it, then you screw it. That one came off pretty easy. On this one, I only had to remove two of these two existing bolts. It looks, if you look at it, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff going on in the back, but there's really not. Most what's, what you have back here are these two bolts, this one here and this one here, and then two uh, push-ins, like little pins that just slide in and out to hold it in place. And that was basically the left side, just those, uh, just those few bolts. And then on the right side, I actually had to take off less than I thought I was going to have to. I ended these two at the bottom. Uh, this is the this would be the front of it. And then I took off this one big one here, this big bolt uh, right uh, here. And this one, I, the other one here in the back, I just left. I didn't have to do anything. because It's basically part of this bracket. So I just left it. And uh, so that's for the existing stuff. And here's what you're left with. Right here. Situation, you got this bracket here. I think we're going to be using that. And then the, I'm going to be using these two existing underneath. And what they did is they gave me screws that seem to uh, match up pretty good with the holes I'm going to be using. All right, and then on this side here, got uh, these two here and this here, which I can't get off, really. So I think those are where I'm using for this side. Or, uh, this and this. Okay, slight update on the right side. There's another bracket here, which looks like what they want me to use in the... Uh, instructions like to replace it so it's this bolt here and this bolt here and it had this little uh plastic thing hooked into it briefly and it looks like the uh right side bracket uses these two holes and these two screws which is good because i won't be worried also uh found a place for some basic uh align with some basic torque specs for these kawasaki parts or kawasaki fairing parts basically it's Specs for any screw that's not like specifically listed, and they kind of tell you what the spec should be by the thread size. So, should be able to put everything back in, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. And then I'll start attaching the brackets. All right, so the first bracket is in place. Uh, these were, I uh, used the existing screws and put this uh, L bracket in to the existing holes. Uh, they were six millimeter threads, and according to the documentation I saw, all of the uh, unmarked or unspecified um, torque values for six millimeter thread should be between 5.9 and 7.8 nanometers. So I went ahead and torqued these to seven, and they seemed to be pretty good. They weren't actually, I mean, they broke out pretty quickly, or pretty easily when I was picking them out, so it seemed like about seven. All right, so I'm gonna go on to the next side. Okay, this is the left side bracket. Uh, these are also six millimeter threads, and I tightened these, tightened these to seven uh, nanometers also. So. Here's a brief overview of the left side again. I just wanted to uh, say that I used the existing uh, or the existing um, bolts for that. So I haven't used any of the bolts from the kit yet on either of these two uh, either of these two mounting brackets did a quick uh, test fit on this. I got to sit under the bike here. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to be removing this screw here too. And I believe that I'm going to be reusing the screw when I'm done. Uh, it's going to, that hole right there. And it is heat shielded on the other side. Yeah. I think it goes over top of this though. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, great. All right, YouTube. And then my first uh, issue here. It's, uh, I did test fit and it's totally rubbing right here. And I cannot get the holes to line up, so I have the Dremel with a little grinder, sander, disc on there. Hopefully it'll just uh, eat away at it a little bit. Also, I had to, I completely removed the heat shield off of here. It looked like it wasn't going to fit, but now I might end up putting that back on because now I know it just didn't fit. So it may have been something else that was making it not line up, like the headers, so... So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grind a little bit on this and uh, hopefully not mess it up too bad and then uh, I'll keep 
trying to test fit it until I get enough off to get it on. Right, that drum was actually working really good on this stuff, so I think I'm gonna be able to uh, continue on with it. The first, uh, the first hit on there, you know, wasn't quite perfect. I didn't get everything off I needed, but I can tell I'm making progress. It's really dusty though, so you really need a mask and some some goggles for this. But so I'm gonna keep working on it a little bit. I said I'd like to have it in place while I was doing it, make it easier to test and see if it's fitting yet. So I'm gonna keep keep at it. Okay, YouTube, um, did my drum in the front, it seemed that it was catching on the headers, so they're no longer touching anywhere. I have it test fitted up a little bit, and the, front, the two front bolts, there's got space. Uh, looks like it's, uh, bolting on pretty good right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up. I have to hose this thing off pretty good, there's dust everywhere, but, so, everything's, uh, moving according to plan. Alright, here it is, got it all installed. Uh, the drum line in the front around the headers was the only part I had to do. I think it looks pretty sick. Had to uh, use the screws they provided in the kit. There were two on the left here, one there, one there. And then I did remove the existing uh, cover here, which is leaving some holes. It didn't look so great, but well, I can get a slip on for that. Yeah, I used the screw here. Screw here and screw here. But this one here, uh, this is the one that came out of the existing shell. So I do have one screw left over from the entire assembly. They said they were shipping four, or they said it needed four. It came with five. So I figured one was a spare, but this is one that was using the existing, from the existing exhaust cover. And I torqued everything down to seven nanometers because they're all six millimeter threads. So if anyone has any better specs than that, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, everything seemed to be on about as tight as it came off, right? So I think 7 to 8 is probably right. So I'm going to hose this thing off, see if I need to do any touch-up. They made a really clean cut with the Dremel down there at the bottom. But I think I might need to hit it with a little bit of flat black in a couple places. And this thing is definitely carbon fiber. This carbon vice uh, cowl, it's definitely carbon fiber. It looks like plastic, but it's not. So, all right. Thanks, guys. That should be it, unless I think of anything else. All right, YouTube. Uh, this is to sum it up. I took it out on a test ride after I hosed it off a little bit and uh, made sure nothing rattled loose or anything like that. So summing it up, uh, this is the M Design Motorsports uh, Z Cut Belly Pan. Apparently, they get them in stock every now and then uh, during the Z Cup races. They get extra pieces, so I guess these are official parts. Not entirely sure. I did not buy the uh, graphics for it yet. Uh, difficulty of install, I'd say it's about a 2 out of 10. It was just unscrewing some things and putting some other things back on. Uh, wasn't difficult at all. Uh, what you want to do is use the existing screws for the brackets and stuff, and the screws that come off the bike, and also for the exhaust uh, connection, and then use the provided screws to attach the fairing pieces, except for the piece, except for the screw that goes into the exhaust. Um, Use seven nanometers torque on all the pieces until I hear different. Uh, that was what I could find on the internet uh, for all the six millimeter threaded screws. Um, after I used the Dremel, there wasn't really any touch up required. I didn't have to repaint any part of it, so that was good. Didn't have to worry about that. Um, the total price, including shipping from Italy or Spain, wherever it came from, I'm not really certain. It was $514 is what it ended up being. And that was like, half of that was the shipping, and half of that was the, was the piece. So, I'll show you where I, uh, the Dremel right there, you kind of see. I mean, it's a little bit ragged. I could probably hit it with a paint pen or something, but yeah. Went pretty well. So, that's basically it. Front view here, see how much bulk it added down there to the bottom. So I think it looks pretty sick. Pretty happy with it. Uh, other than the Dremeline part, it went on real easy. So yeah, recommend it if you want to have a belly pan that looks sick. All right, thanks guys. Bye.